what up boys and welcome back to another video and you guys are mean so if you guys didn't watch my previous series uh video i finished my second gold cap on my druid and i announced a new challenge which is basically to make uh, a million gold with every class in the game and you guys had to vote on what class you wanted me to uh to uh do first and second and so on and of course, you guys wanted me to suffer by picking literally the worst, the worst classes possible. And uh, the number one picked uh, class was a Death Knight. So here I am on my Death Knight. I've never felt slower. It's insane how bad the mobility on a Death Knight really is, especially from a guy that's played a Druid for like the last ten years. It's insane. But hey. That's the game, and uh, it is what it is, so I gotta do the best out of it. So, before we dive into the video, I do want to mention that you guys can still get the Zero to 10 million gold guide for 50% off by using the code SHADOWLANDS, and the link to that is down below in the uh, description. So, Death Knight, Death Knight, Death Knight. Pretty much all of the classes that I'm gonna do in this challenge is gonna be boosted up to 50 because I have like professions and recipes and plants on all the other um, outs that I have like I have most classes at level 50 but uh they have uh professions that I don't want to get rid of so I'm just gonna make a second one of each class for this challenge and uh I'm pretty much spending like 900,000 gold to make a million golds uh, on the the tomb but I don't really care about the gold it's gonna be fun so uh so that's it so I boosted this death knight to uh level 50 and i'm now level 53 and a half by farming and the stuff that i've farmed like i'm not sure how to attack this on uh on a death knight like what to do so the whole idea is to show people you guys that you can make gold on any class so uh depending on the class i'm going to do different farms but i obviously want to test all the classes to see how efficiently they are and the big thing for solo gold right now is uh, skinning. So I want to test every single class on skinning to see how good it is. Because there's a lot of people telling me like, yo student, I can't do skinning because I play a death knight or I play a shaman and so on. So I want to, I want to see if that's true. Since skinning is obviously so good. And then I want to do other stuff as well. Um, just as a backup in case skinning is going to suck on that specific uh, class. And we're only going to a million. So on this tune so far... I ran Pit of Saren for the Batra Tilts. That is a, a Northrend uh, a Northrend dungeon, a Pit of Saren and Ice Crown. And you've got to do it in heroic mode and you have a chance of getting this one. It's basically just an item that starts a quest where you can get cool transmog items. It tends to sell and right now we had a really good price at 50k on my realm. So I was lucky on that one. And then I did like not a lot, as you can see. I only have 165 bars worth 3.3k gold on my realm. But I did some ghost iron uh, or mining. I don't know why. I just I was kind of confused on what I was going to do. So I did that. And obviously, since I got mining, I picked up some. Like, it's not even worth mentioning, right? Killing some mobs that dropped me some cloth while, uh, while doing some of the skinning farms. So the main thing that I've done besides from uh, getting the battery tilt, is that I've done some skinning. You guys can see I have, a, I have this is the result from two hours of skinning on my Death Knight. So average like 16 Heavy Callus, which is lower than my Druid. It really is. Uh, the uh, Desolate Letter is like 4,000, uh, but that also includes the time that I took like leveling the profession up from 1 to, uh, uh, to 150. So I'm definitely getting less materials on my skinning however i found a well i did a farm that i thought that was really efficient or as efficient as it can get on these standstill low mobility classes and that is the uh the larion or the griffin larion looking mobs at this location right here uh with uh like a duo farming on it because you pretty much just stand still and the mobs will spawn and you will kill them and skin him so that's working out pretty well on my Death Knight. You are reliant on having one other guy. But the cool thing about it is that the classes don't really matter. It doesn't matter if your friend is playing a Paladin or if he's playing a Druid, a Hunter. It doesn't matter because you're not dealing with that many mobs. It's just frequently spawning a couple of them. So any class is okay 
for it. So that one works out great on this Death Knight. It's probably not going to work out as great uh, on the location that I was standing in. If I were to play like a, a priest or a mage or maybe even a warlock, I don't know. Time will tell. But it was a great spot for my, uh, for my Death Knight. So posting all of this on the auction house. And uh, let's see how much gold we're going to end up with. Obviously, some of these are like worth close to nothing at all. So the tactic on this challenge is uh, is not to... Uh, I should probably put this one on 12 hours, actually. The tactic is not to uh, level to 60 because you're going to spend like 8 to 10 hours level from 50 to 60-ish. Some people do it faster, I know. But rather just gold farm my way up to 60. Like, I, I haven't played much on this tune, and it's already 63 and a half. So uh, that is my tactic going forward. And I have some meat from uh, when I was leveling up my skinning. This stuff is not really worth that much. Like, 10 silver uh, each. I'm going to keep that one for a while. 118 gold on these. Let's see. These are going down fast. There we go, and some uh, desolate litter, and we are currently, uh, well, I mean, that's not correct. We got to go to the mailbox, refresh it. If everything were to sell, I'm making 151,000 golds, right? But that is included the battery tilt. So without the battery tilt, it's like 150,000 golds. I mean, 100,000 gold, and that is two hours of uh, skinning. And also like 30 minutes of doing Pit of Saren and like 10 minutes of doing Ghost Iron Ore. So uh, we're making less gold per hour on a Death Knight than we are on my Druids. But that is as expected. So I was really, I was really worried and I'm still kind of worried when you guys selected a Death Knight as the number one pick. But uh, I think we're going to pull through and I just have to keep on doing whatever works for the Death Knight. So uh uh, I'm not going to join any 2 times 4 farms with my viewers to like get boosted uh, up to uh, to a million golds because a death knight wouldn't be efficient and it wouldn't be realistic to uh, be in a good 2 times 4 group on a death knight either. I will, however, do the skinning farms that I find that are working because that's all clue about this um, about this challenge is to find stuff that you guys can do on each of the classes depending on what class you you play so for instance on this tune i wouldn't go and do like the reindeer route on the death knight the mobility is bad pulling power nothing to brag about it's just not efficient enough but it might be good on something like a warlock so um we'll see how it's going to pan out uh, but I'm excited for the challenge uh, regardless. And a Death Knight, hey, it's good to get it out of the way. Uh, and I think if I if I get to 60 relatively fast by just farming and I just buy the uh, 168 gear on the auction house, I'm, I could dabble into some the other side of dungeon farming or something like that as well. But uh, we will see. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to reach a million golds. So uh, yeah, and if you guys want to stay tuned and watch me get a million gold on a Death Knight, and every other class in the game then make sure you subscribe to my channel and you will be notified whenever i upload a video and that's pretty much it buy seventy thousand copies of the uh book and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching bye bye